Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, MachineLoveUs.com uh, channel video analyzing some data. Today I'm going to be analyzing some YouTube data, analyzing uh, subscriber views channels on YouTube. So uh, YouTube is a phenomenon now more than ever. Regular people can get online, upload a video, find other people to watch them. It's close to being a meritocracy where individuals who have the ability to edit and make videos can upload them for huge hits. Recently, having started a channel myself, I've been interested in this ecosystem. And uh, in this video, I'm going to scrape some information about the largest YouTube channels and dive into the data. I found information about the largest YouTube channels uh, from this site, socialblade.com forward slash YouTube. And I'd like to take this data and get it into uh, Panda's data frame where I can analyze it. So uh, to start, I'm going to have to bring in the libraries that I'm going to use. And those are going to be Pandas, um, Requests, and beautiful soup to parse the HTML when I get it. So just to go back over this, I use pandas just uh, to get data frames. Um, areas, you could think of them sort of as an Excel table, but uh, it's, it's really a large part of my toolkit as a data scientist. I import request. This is how I'm going to grab the HTML off of uh, that page and beautiful soup to, um, to parse that HTML to get it ready to put into a data frame. So what I actually meant to do is from BS4 import beautiful soup. And then what I can do is I like to save this link as a string, as an actual variable. So I'll do that. And then I can start to grab this data from the URL. I can just take a look at what I've grabbed. Uh, this is going to be a huge document. It's all the HTML on that page. And you can sort of see, let's see, uh, what I really want is the top YouTube users by subscribers. So that piece of text should be in this. And here it is. It should be in this HTML. Okay, but you don't need to look over such a large bit of information. I'll just uh, restrict it to the first 500 characters just to keep it uh, down to uh, bite size that we can look at. And then with beautiful soup, what we do he down here is just to say uh, that HTML will make it into beautiful soup, that HTML.txt, because requests actually returns uh, a 200 object. It's not uh, the HTML itself. It's this. It's a response. So I need to I need to put the text into this soup. Okay. Um, so now what I'm going to do is. So I have this this soup. Let's just take a look at what that is. It's this HTML uh, that Beautiful Soup has helped us parse. But I really want this body information. I really want to find the information where that table exists. And by inspecting this HTML before, I found that it lives in this table body. What you're going to have to do uh, when you do this with other data is look in here and see where the information that you want actually lives so you can grab it. But I know that uh, this information lives in this, uh, lives in divs with a class of table body. Okay, so now I've grabbed them all and I need to prepare this data. Uh, see, it's still in this ugly sort of format. It's still trapped within this HTML data. So I'm gonna make a function called prepare table row. I suppose I'll call it, not a great name. But what I'm gonna do is just prepare that data uh, that's trapped in those divs um, and extract it. Uh, so 
by a little um, little bit of trial and error, I was able to uh, get this information out into something that um, that I'll be able to put into a pandas data frame. So let me just speed this up here so you can actually see. Um, I'll <clears throat> okay, I'll speed this up here so you can see the final product. So after a bunch of trial and error, I found out that I had actually um, misspecified this function call in find all in beautiful soup, and I was returning all of the HTML text, which caused me to not be able to use this prepare table row function um, accurately, and I spent a bunch of time just debugging that. Um, take the raw table data and Um, anyway, I needed to spend some time and get this actually filled out correctly. This wasn't throwing an exception. It was just returning all of the HTML data. Um, so I needed to specify that correctly. And then I had some typos in my prepared table row function. But eventually I got that all sorted. And now you can see that um, I'm able to grab, I have a dictionary whose keys are the subscribers videos, views, grade, channel, and rank uh, from this table of information. This is exactly what I was looking for. So now what I can do is just iterate over that and say data, I'll collect all of that data in a list so I can um, eventually bring it into a pandas data frame. So I'll say for each table row in the body, which is the HTML that I'm interested in, um, let's say the datum is prepare table row, which is the table row. And then I also want to, uh, grab the, uh, the YouTube link just, just to have it, just to show you how to do it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll add another, um, another key in my dictionary, call it uh, URL, and that will be the, uh, the link, the href. Uh, and then eventually, finally, I'm going to append that datum to my list, and then I'll just say this, which is nice, uh, cast that data as a data frame, and then I can finally, finally, finally look at it, and here's that data from that that uh, social blade into a pandas data frame. This is fantastic. And these are the top YouTube YouTubers by subscribers. Um, and I don't really know uh, many of these people. I've heard of uh, Pewdie PewDiePie before. I haven't heard of T-Series. Uh, Justin Bieber looks like he's number uh, one, two, three, and four. Um, and so there are some other um, celebrities, Vivo, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but uh, the Ellen Show is, is interesting, is uh, down there, and Vivo again. So now what I can do, now that I have this information in a pandas data frame, I can actually start plotting it and take a, a look at it. So this, uh, this data is by subscribers, so why don't I plot it by subscribers? I'll just do a regular bar plot and we can see um, you know the relative distribution amongst these youtubers uh, channel is the name so i want the names and i want the subscribers and i want this in a bar chart looking down here and what's nice is seaborn pre presents pretty nicely so you can see that uh, pewdiepie is 
is definitely uh, up there with uh, an Indian channel down down here, and these are in one e to the seventh. So that's you know six followed by seven zeros, six, one two three four five six seven. That is sixty million, sixty million subscribers. It's just incredible the size of these audiences. You can also do some other things. We have some other, we have views here. So we can see, um, you know, th this is the largest number of subscribers. What about, what about by views? And that comes out a bit differently where T-series, and I don't know what that is, 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 is the highest number of views. So even though people don't subscribe as much as they do to the first uh, YouTuber, they watch probably double uh, more videos. Um, so because I don't know much about who these people are, what I can do is, is check Wikipedia. So I'm going to import one of my favorite Python libraries, which is Wikipedia. And I could just look, I could see who this T series is and see if that comes up. Um, so you can actually search with Wikipedia, but I want to, I want to look at a summary of who this person is. And you can actually specify the number of sentences you want to see. So T-Series is an Indian music company. Um, so I guess it makes sense, a Bollywood music company, that it would, the T-Series YouTube channel is, is the most viewed YouTube channel in the world, which you could see, actually our data bears that out, with nearly 1.7 billion monthly views. Right, this is 1e to the 10th here. So 3, 3 dot 1e to the 10th. Um, billion billions of views so now what I can do is I've I've pulled this data we scraped it from this website social blade we visualized it we pulled it into a pandas data frame uh, now I've I've gone and used Wikipedia and found some information about it uh, what I can do is just search among all of these all of these youtubers um, to get a sense of who they are because I really have no idea who some of these individuals are but I'd like to like to find out these are the most viewed individuals in the world here so let's just uh, let's check it out so if I just do the row as channel and sentences as five and then put a break here uh, we can see uh, we can figure out uh, who more of these people are. Uh, so PewDiePie is a Swedish uh, comedian, web comedian, and uh, video producer. E-Series, uh, Justin Drew Bieber, uh, and the, the rest of the YouTube celebrities are here. Um, you can see that my battery is dying, so I'm going to have to jump off. But thanks for viewing today. Uh, check out machinelovus.com follow the channel uh, if there's other data you want me to look at i'd i'd be glad to analyze it so just leave that in the comments below um and uh there you go web scraping and visualization with python take care bye